Hello and welcome to the latest build guys. In this one we're going to be checking out Project H. It's finally on the workshop if you want to check it out. Um, you know, as, as you guys have seen, we've been building it going forward. It's going to continue um, the next project. I will be doing the voice recordings. Um, so if you do like the link, please give it a like. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about the latest project. Alright, so kicking it off, we'll start off on the helipad and we'll just uh, kind of head down here. We'll go down the main deck and uh, we'll go up into the bridge and I'll kind of show you guys around and show you how everything works. So uh, we'll go in here and um, there's a nice little desk area, you know, seating area. There's some equipment laying around, but we'll head up on up into the bridge and we'll uh, check it out. So um, <clears throat> here, I'll slow down the ship real quick just so uh, everything's simple. I already turned the reactor on. So this is how you guys are gonna power the main ship. Um, you're gonna click this left button on all the way to the left first. It's gonna unlock these other buttons. Make sure both the buttons on the right are on. Once these are on, the reactor will start and the ship will be powered. Going back, we got our main electrical panel. Back here you can see all of our batteries, our breakers, our emergency power. You can see I just turned it on. It's got emergency lighting all the way throughout the ship. Uh, this is fun if you want to, you know, hop on and, you know, do some sinking ship survival or, you know, kind of get yourself in some bad situations. <laughs> uh, but we'll head back on up into the bridge and uh, I'll kind of show you guys the production panel and how to use that. So right here, this is the uh, this is the air conditioning. You know, we'll get that going. Just kind of pretty simple. Put a temperature and turn it on. As you can see, it's cooling down. And this will uh, control the heating throughout the entire ship. It's air conditioned and heated. This is our main control panel for the hydrogen and oxygen production. So you're going to see on the right there that red key. So that red key is going to turn be spawned on. Turn it off when the tank's empty. This is because the tanks are going to spawn with air in them. So when we create the hydrogen and the oxygen, the tanks won't be completely clean. So we want to make sure they're empty before we start producing hydrogen and oxygen. You'll see the tanks are going down. I like to uh, start filling the other two tanks. You'll see the blue key and the uh, yellow key right there. Turn those both on. Those will fill the surge tank and the forward tank. This will start pumping fresh water into a tank where the hydrolyzers can turn on and start producing hydrogen and oxygen for you. And we'll get this down to about uh, 50 and then turn it off. You'll never get it really almost, you'll get it very close to zero, but likely never to zero. So don't worry about it. This is just gonna make your ratio of hydrogen and oxygen better in the tanks. So you'll see I turned it on and you'll see through the walkthrough that the, uh, the uh, system is running and we are producing right now. And it will produce pretty much indefinitely until the nuclear reactor needs to be refueled. Right here I'm just kind of showing you around the cockpit the uh, autopilot system. Pretty simple, you know, standard by this point. Just copy and paste your coordinates, press the button. It'll show it up on the map. When it's not on, it won't be on the map. like I got a little stuck there maybe change that and you'll see these red switches everywhere I'll, I'll keep flick, flicking them those are um, a fire alarm for the entire ship if you turn one on they all stay on um, a nice note about this is these do work automatically when infinite electricity is on so if you are complaining about how the alarms cannot turn on this is why just make sure you turn off that infinite electricity these alarms won't be spawned on and we'll head on into the production room here there's not really all that much for you to do other than look around down here most of the system is automated you'll see these tanks are uh, building pressure as we walk through um, those little uh, tan things are air conditioners they uh, cool each tank down they lower the pressures this makes everything a lot easier to pump
and coming back up out of the deck you'll see this is just kind of an emergency buoy don't have to worry about that that's only really used if the ship is sunk we have these cool sliding platforms this makes offloading the hydrogen and the oxygen a lot easier um, and you'll notice there's quite a few points all over the ship where you can unload the hydrogen and oxygen. The idea of the entire ship was really to be a, uh, a green energy source for rocket fuel. And you'll see right here we have a cool little fire extinguisher just in case there's a deck fire. Um, obviously these are pressurized tanks with flammable gases. Uh, that is dangerous so yes there is a fire extinguisher um, <clears throat> it just kind of works automatically turn the key you'll see that the uh, little box to the left there is for pumping fresh water in and out and over here we have another um, hydrogen and oxygen pumping station so towards the back we have this little electric relay station this is in case you need to power up a dead ship you know, we have a nuclear reactor, we might as well be able to uh, send the power somewhere. And you'll see, I'm just going to hop in the lifeboat here. Uh, fun little lifeboat. We'll uh, launch it real quick just cause you, so you can see how it works. Get in it, turn the breaker. Um, you'll see the instructions down there. Uh, you just press the button. As soon as it launches, it'll launch that flare and you're on your way. And we'll just circle it back here real quick. I'll head back over to the ship and we'll uh, wrap up the uh, ship. And so I didn't necessarily show you this, but uh, there is room for a crew. There's room for six. Uh, there's three different cabins with two bunks each. Um, there's a little uh, kind of booth with a kitchenette attached. And from there you can also access all of the HVAC. It's uh, nice to kind of note that this space is completely separate from uh, their reactor area so um, if there is any leaks that this should uh, not really see too much bleed off. And right here I just kind of cranked up the wave so you guys can see how it works with the uh, wind. You can see we're still producing our gases. But uh, yeah, guys, so this was the most recent project. Um, I will definitely continue uh, releasing the build videos. I do have the next project uh, in mind started. So once I get a little bit more ahead on that, we will start posting videos and I'll start doing the recordings. Uh, so you will hear the mic a lot more if you have any suggestions or uh, comments or concerns. If you want to see anything in the future, any build videos, by all means, I'm open to suggestions. And uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe.